I would like to introduce you today to legal sources. To get started, log in to your UNCG account to access all the options. Next, go to library.uncg.edu. This will take you to the library homepage. Let's examine the homepage. You can search our databases, subject listings, study guides, or resources directly from the search bar. We're going to research subject guides by subject. You can see there are guides for a wide variety of subjects. We will select Law today. Here is the Law Resources homepage. Notice that you can always access a librarian for help. Here is the specialist librarian for Law Resources. You can contact her by email, by phone, or by going directly to the library. There are links to resources on each page with descriptions to help you select the right one. Some items are available only in print. These are noted and do not have links that you can click. There are several tabs you can select depending on the resource you need. Let's look at each of them in turn. Case Law. Here's a link to our librarian again handy instructional video on using case citations, a link to Google Scholar on this page because this can be a good resource to help find specific cases. On the left are links to help you find your cases. Lots of links show up on more than one page here so you don't have to remember where you saw that link. North Carolina law is featured but you can also find resources for other states through this site. Federal Statutory Law tab. Lots of links again, categorized by topic. Here's LexisNexis again. No. State, county, and municipal laws. LexisNexis and our friendly librarian again, along with links to the pertinent resources. And here's the link to information on other states we mentioned earlier. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, and handbooks. These will be helpful checking concepts, definitions, and other bas basic information. Black's Law Dictionary, available in print only, is a classic resource. And finally, websites. Here we have links to specialized government sites and other information on legal issues, as well as news and job information. Hmm, renter's information could be useful for lots of us. Let's go back to the home page and click on the link to Lexis Uni and try a search. Let's say I'm working on a paper and researching a particular court case. This database has lots of information that might work for that. This is a really easy to use page. They even give you helpful hints as you go, like this one. Let's clear those and explore the tabs. Menu items, advanced search filters. We can browse topics if we want. I want to do a guided search. And I'm pretty sure it's a state case, so I'll select that. It's in North Carolina, so I'll add that detail. Oh, it gives me a box for that. I know one of the litigants is named Brackett, and the case happened just a few years ago. I'll pick five years as a time filter to cover it and click Search. It's 22 to be exact. I'll look at the overview, and bingo, this looks like the one I want. I'm going to click on it for details. Here we go. Hmm, what's this red dot here? I hover over it and it warns me that something negative happened with this case. Over on the right, I can get a little more detail. Looks like there is some more appellate court history. A reversal, a remand, good to know. Here we have all the detail we could want on this case. Down to the judges involved with handy links as appropriate. Back to the top. Very important. Takes me to a copy box. I prefer to copy to Word, so I'll right click my mouse, copy, go to an open MS Word file, right click again, paste. Here it is, neatly cited, ready for inclusion, and set up as a hyperlink too. Okay, minimize Word file, cancel out of that box, and we'll get back to the case. Let's check out that warning we saw earlier. Let's check out subsequent appellate history and find out the whole story. Working our way through the courts, 
through time and we see the latest decision was in June of 2018. We could look at each event, but I'll let you do that later. Down at the bottom of the page is a complete legend of the colored codes we are seeing on the case. Okay, close and back to the top. What else could we do on this page? We could see other detail on the case by clicking on these tables. Back to the case itself, I see I can print, email, download, send to Google Drive, or look at a print-friendly version on the screen. I can even change the language if I want, if that's easier for me. Okay, enough of Bracket V. Thomas today, let's go back to the home page. I hope this has given you a taste of the legal resources we have available for you at the UNCG Library. Thanks for watching and happy searching.